A piki mai, kake mai, ho mai te wai ora ki a hau e tūte hana te moe te koe te pō, te pō nui, te pō rō, te pō keri keri. Ko e tai mai kūtou. Kao, kao, ka awatea. This is a traditional pōhiri, a traditional welcome uh, to guests. It tells the old lady of the night to go and all the stages of darkness because it is light, it is light. Your arrival means it is now dawn. Welcome. New Zealand's an extraordinary place. This region is the cradle of our mythologies. This land changed us. This land converted us into Naitahu or to Waipaunamu, the Naitahu of this island, of this place. We are an island largely in the middle of nowhere, and as a result of that, we've had to innovate in terms of how we deliver ourselves to the world. We developed a boat we call a mokihi. It's a bit like an inflatable canoe in its appearances. They were a very clever thing, and today we still have people who practice the old arts of making them. They were an integral part of our network of communication. We now have 700 horsepower twin engine jet boats that go 90 k's an hour. Naitahu Tourism is a collection of 11 iconic businesses. We have over a million customers and we probably have about 25 to 30 experiences that we deliver to those million customers. It's a vast family business. Our tribal family is 54,000 people at the moment and growing. And the profits of the business are distributed by the tribe for tribal purposes. You really are uh, at an organisation that's owned by the Tangata Whenua, the, the people of the place, telling their stories in that place. And I think that's really important. Sometimes you can only see the beauty of the land uh, through the eyes of the man who loves the land. Then you can see it for what it really is. We have an opportunity to do it in a uniquely Ngaitahu way. We use technology to reinforce our experiences. We have a translation technology with our Dart River product where our customers with other languages can wear headphones and then they get to hear the story in their own language at the right place. We were the first to introduce tiered seating. We were the first to introduce two engines. We have the flat bottom boat so that spins us far smoother for our customers. We really do continually look to how we can improve our experience there. One of our core values is manakitanga, or hosting or looking after people. And when you have over a million manahiri or customers, that's very important in terms of putting them first. Well, it's important for us to understand the history of the tribe, to understand the cultural context. It's important for us to make sure that the staff feel that connection as well. People who do business with us do it because they like us. You know, there's a trust there that you get from being a family-owned business. There's a level of comfort. Once they start to get to know you and they understand who you are and how you do business, they understand your values. All of those things start to make it much more of a package. Less of buying a product and more of being a partner. And that's really what we're striving to be. We need to act with integrity. We need to do the right thing. We need to make sure we look after our customers. We need to make sure we look after the industry. It comes back to that long-term view. It's for us and our children after us.